I get to do it all over again. I get to have another great year, you know, claim this title, 2024 light heavyweight champion. Last year, it's one of those, those moments where I was like, all right, you got to get introduced to the world, and now we're better than I've ever been, proving every single day, knowing that I can be better and will continue to improve to be better. But I'm just excited because I, I, I love the, the PFL season. Like, of course, you want to make as much money as possible. You want to do all these things, but man, I get to work. Yeah, Impa last year had an amazing year, but he's a very motivated guy. So he's looking at it like if it didn't even happen. It's just he started from scratch. He actually started doing jujitsu. He started doing things to get better. So that was pretty impressive to see him like win the championship and go out. Started um, doing more kickboxing with Henry. Started doing a little bit more jujitsu with Herbert Burns, and he's just trying to get a lot better. 205 division, in my opinion, is the hardest division in PFL this year. You got a couple guys coming in from from Bellator. You have Wilkinson returning. I think Shoeface is returning too. So it's gonna be a fun year. Camp's been amazing. It's been really good uh, going up with the weight class. His energy is at all time high and he's ready to go. Again, it's the season, so he's gonna have back-to-back -back fights. So that's why we went up a weight class, which in the gym, he goes against 55 pound guys all the time and he does amazing against those guys. Seconds out. Work time, let's go. Watching his opponent and watching Mads, I, I think Mads is going to be putting hands to him, and, and Michael's going to come out and, and probably try to strike a little bit and realize that's not the route to go. And he's kind of a pressure fighter. He's going to try to press us to the cage. He's going to try to take his shots. Which, you know, Mads is almost impossible to hold down, so that's going to be the battle you know, to see if Michael can take him down and if he can hold him down. And if so, then uh, time. We'll see how that ground game goes. And we you know Madge is world class on the ground as well. Good ass double. Yeah, good double. You finished him like eight times that round. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so PFL, they bought uh, Bellator and I used to fight for Bellator. I was number four ranked in Bellator and now they merged and uh, and that was a great opportunity. I'm super excited to do this, and yeah, I can't wait to, to get started. My uh, view on the PFL season is I love it. it. It makes more opportunity for the fighters to be active, and you know when you're fighting too, so that's pretty cool. It's literally like taken out of like a 90s, 80s martial arts movie, like the toughest guys against each other for the grand prize of like a million bucks and stuff. Big time finish. Just because the next time I'm super excited, yeah. Couldn't be better. Get after it, baby. New season. Let's go. I feel good, you know, obviously this, this, this sport is like ups and downs. I took my time to uh, feel what I had to feel from last season and you know, now we're here again, you know, I'm a fighter. Fighting is something I do, I love it. Sport of fighting is it's a mental game and um, emotional. I'm human, I work through my feelings. I, I got to experience the downs and the ups, and that's part of the game. Last year, I, I felt like I was doing everything well. Um, I felt like I had my sacrifices. I felt like I was developing, growing, and then I get to the finals, and, and you know, that happens, you know? So just, hey, pick yourself back up. Let's get back to it. Obviously, that loss was like pretty scarring in a sense. 
But um, sounds cliche, it was like the best thing that kind of probably happened to me. I'm on a mission, man. And I love this, you know, at the end of the day, I'm living my dream and it's, it's amazing. It's awesome the feeling, you know, to be back, getting ready to fight. I was like hungry to come back here, you know, hungry to come back in the competition, you know, in the season, in the train, in everything. It's just, I feel so great, you know, I feel I'm in the right place, you know, because I gotta stay off. And that feeling was terrible, man. So I just feel so happy to be back and, you know, back in the competition again. It's good to feel like uh, that you achieve one of your goals, you know, like becoming a world champion, getting the belt, that, that feeling was awesome. But to be honest, it doesn't change much because I keep doing the same thing, you know, improving my game, getting ready, training, being here every day, get better in every aspect, doesn't really change much. Even like being a champion, I put myself in a place that I still learn a lot. Since 2021, I've been doing all my camps in Vegas and with Dennis. I've been coming here since 2017, on and off. But since 2020, it's almost been like, I'm more here than I'm back home, actually. Because it's just like, be in the camp, fight, go back home for a couple of months, come out here, camp, fight, go back home for a couple of months. It's cool. The thing that makes me excited is I don't have to travel. Other than that, I don't give two where it's at. It's a fight. It don't mean but uh, the fact that I don't have to travel and all that stuff, yeah, I'm excited for that. This year I do lightweight. Next year I'm gonna go like Saturday boom, I'm gonna go three or two weight classes up. I'm gonna end my career at heavyweight. I'm just weighing in with three cheeseburgers and a milkshake in my hand. Just going. <laughs> yeah, Saturday has gotta be loving life right now. Mm -hmm. Instead of trying to kill himself to make weight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's smart moving up. He's probably still going to be taller than most of those light heavyweights oh, wow. that have reach and mm -hmm. That's good. Let's get a coffee. Yeah, coffee. Okay. Yeah. I'll wait. Good. Smoked some chicken in my trailer today. Woo! It's going to be nice. This, uh, around this time, when I fought at 170, uh, this was definitely not my meal. You gonna say hey to the camera? Say hey, hey. Say hey, come vinka. It's so different, you know? I'm like, are we, are we in camp? Because usually, like four to five weeks before the fight, he's um, it's, it's like starvation. And now I can cook regular food. I don't need to count all the calories. Make sure that he doesn't eat too much. You know, out of anything. Now I can cook healthy food without counting calories. So it feels amazing. Robin, Robin. I love having people over, uh, so now we, we live big enough, so it's easy for, for friends and family to fly in. Older sister, younger sister, this is Thomas. I haven't been spending as not enough time with, uh, with them because I've been in camp, but uh, it's nice. It's nice to, when, when you come down, uh, having uh, like loved ones to, to just uh, chill with, it's amazing. <laughs> Not having to worry about the weight cut is actually, uh, it feels a little bit weird. I, I believe that I'm honestly gonna uh, perform much better. Uh, the pressure is not there, so I feel a little bit free. It's like, a, like I said, it's a little bit weird. I think after a couple of fights uh, in the season, I might, uh, I might get used to it. But for now, uh, I don't know. I like it though. Don't, don't get me wrong. It's just weird.
for the Pacific Bags from flight 1369, Boise. Thank you. Foi? Tá ali tudo bem, senhor? Bem, bem. Então, chegando aqui sempre, sempre vai mexer é, na boca. Ah. Pô, meu irmão, eu, <risos> e eu fico enjoado pra caralho. Eu também, eu sou igual, velho. Eu, eu, eu nem gosto de, de voar pra começar, mas tem que, né? Pra fazer o que eles fazem. Outra vez que vai pousar com 10 balanços, eu fico uh -huh. suado. Uh -huh. I'm very excited to, to be here and uh, my first time to fight here and it, it's crazy. Always I hear some Vegas to fight big fights, big shows and today I'm here to enjoy the weekend and fight that's more important. My brother is uh, half of my heart. I can't imagine it. If he don't stay here with me to help me, to teach me, to say, hey, no, okay, let's go. And uh, to me, it's very important. So it's like uh, my mind. <laughs> it's like a game. <laughs> First class, and I got a guy carrying my bag. I've made it! Damn straight. <laughs> Just flew in from Denver to Vegas. Rob freaks out in elevators. He starts <laughs> screaming and hitting everyone, biting faces. <laughs> Day one of weight cut, eight litres or 2.3 gallons of water for you Americans. <laughs> Vegas? It's actually not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, I'm pumped to be back. Pumped to be back fighting. I just want to get back in there, get a get a good knockout and, you know, just back to normal. Yeah, everyone back home will just watch on, on a Saturday afternoon. Everyone at home is looking forward to this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, did you feel the spark? Oh, we did have a spark. Wow. Wow. It was weird. I kissed my hand. I don't do that.